So the Quran is telling us that the earth is God's. He gives it to whomever he pleases. Allahumma madik al mutut al murka man tasha. O possessor of all dominion, you give dominion to whom you please. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can give dominion to whomever he pleases. So Pharaoh can rule Egypt and Moses can be the one who's oppressed in Egypt. But that dominion is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the reminder of the Quran, not to be deluded by the outward, not to fall into this false perception of reality where you think that the people in power are in power independent from God. No, they're only there because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has enabled them to be there. And when He removes their power, their power goes. It can go in one night. It can go in one heartbeat. All of their power is gone. It can go with a stroke. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can reduce the most powerful human being to a, a muttering idiot. This is the reality of life on earth. And so the people of taqwa are the people who they don't seek their help in the outward illusion of the world. They seek their help from the source of the world, from what's behind the world, which is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And for this reason, their hearts can never be conquered. Their bodies can be conquered. They can be enslaved. They can be in the worst conditions. But their hearts are for God. This is the reality of the people of taqwa. And so we're reminded that the earth is God's, but then that He gives it to whom He pleases. يُرِثُهَا مَنْ يَشَاء مِنْ عِبَادِهِ Again, مِنْ عِبَادِهِ But they're still His servants. It doesn't matter who they are. They're still in the servitude of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But, وَالْعَاقِبَةُ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ Despite all of that, the, the, the aqiba, the end affairs for the people of taqwa. Now there's another verse, uh, with that one's from Surah Al-A'raf. There's another verse, الَّذِينَ إِن مَكَّنَّاهُمْ فِي الْأَرْضِ أَقَامُوا الصَّرَى وَآتُوا الزَّكَى وَأَمْرُوا بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَنَّهُوا عَنَ الْمُنْكَرِ وَنِلَّهِ عَاقِبَةُ الْأُمُورِ Again, those who we have established in the earth, what do they do once they get into power? And this is the difference between the people of Pharaoh and the people of Moses. Once they get into power, they establish prayer, they take care of the poor people. See, Pharaoh does the opposite. Pharaoh makes people worship him, and then he exploits the poor people. The people of taqwa are the people who, when they're established in the earth, they establish the prayer, they give taqwa, and they they do Amr bin Ma'ruf and Nahi an Munkar. In other words, they command others to virtue because they're practicing it. So that they're not hypocrites commanding people to do virtuous things without them practicing it. No. They command others to virtue and, 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 and they practice that virtue and they prohibit the Munkar. They prohibit things that are foul, vulgarity. One of the, the hallmarks of, of our current civilization is its vulgarity. Uh, the Prophet ﷺ despised vulgarity. He despised vulgar language. And so the people of virtue are people that they're, 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 they're behaving beautifully and they're commanding others to behave beautifully and they're avoiding the munkar. They're avoiding foul things, things that not, should not be seen or heard. The, those are the people of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.